Design intent is one of the fundamental principles that guides how designers and engineers create a product. So what do you do when the design intent of a product is lost? In today's episode, we'll look at how one company was able to continue the product development cycle, even though the original designer and the product's design intent were long gone. In the world of parametric design, design intent means building intelligence into your model by creating relationships and constraints between features and geometry. Building design intent into your model makes changes easier. Take for example, this bolt. If I build a relationship that links the depth of the bolt's head to the length of the threads, I can change one parameter and the entire model will update. Now that's a really simple example of design intent. And when models become more complex, these relationships become key when it comes time to reconfigure a part. But what happens when an older design needs to be reconfigured? What if the original designer left your company and the part's design intent is lost? Let's take a look. Here at our company, the boss has decided to go back through our catalog to update parts that don't fit our customer's product any longer. To save time and money, he'd prefer to just reconfigure our models rather than building them from scratch. The problem is none of the designers who built these parts are around. Because all of the relationships and constraints that were built into those parts, Allison wasn't sure we'd be able to take the reconfigure route. That is, until I showed her what new CAD systems can do with old imported models. All right, so how am I going to remodel this hub? Now that you have the model open, just click on the outermost cut pattern. Let's define it by using the pattern recognition tool. Give ourselves the option to edit the pattern, then enter the new number of instances and their spacing. Okay, so I don't have to know the way the features and constraints were built up. Six instances at 60 degrees. Click OK and... There you have it. We were able to ignore the older constraints built into the model while still recognizing and editing the pattern. So on to the next part. On this part, we're going to need to move the whole feature. You're in luck. This edit is going to be straightforward. First, click on the feature and then select its surrounding face. Okay, got it. Now just pull the feature over to the left and watch. Even those rounds will update to the work with the surrounding geometry. That's pretty awesome. Well, now that you see how easy this project is gonna be, you think you're ready to work on some other models? Sure, that shouldn't be too hard. Good, then I'll see you after lunch. So it's pretty clear that although design intent is an important part of parametric modeling, it no longer has to be a stumbling block for designers looking to reconfigure older parts. With new flexible modeling tools, engineers can use feature and pattern recognition to edit a part without worrying about it crashing because of previously built relationships and constraints. Thanks to PTC Inc. for sponsoring this episode. To learn more about flexible modeling, visit ptc.com slash solutions slash design agility. And thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.